a back one too? Oh, nice. Hey guys, we're back here at CES 2026 with our good buddy Tony. Yeah. How you doing, man? Long I'll go, time. I'll go. Everything's good. This is the fourth year I saw him at CES uh, yeah, right. and then at other events too, ICRA. Yeah, but, actually uh, for Unitree, it's uh, seven years we are at Uni yeah, oh, CES. Wow. And every year you come up with something cooler. G1, we've seen a lot of updates, a lot of upgrades, okay. but uh, I also noticed that you brought some other robots, is that correct? Yeah, including yeah, right. uh, K1 and... Yeah, uh, including R1, the H2 as well. H2 as well? Yeah, no. and the H2. Now we're going to get a little demo, is that right, Tony? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, so uh, I know a lot of people have seen this robot online. This is the R1. Yeah. Uh, now, as a G1 owner, when Unitree announced <laughs> this robot, they said that it costs how much, Tony? Uh, the cheapest one is approximately five thousand dollars. That that is a heck of a deal for a robot. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, you know, we don't know anything about it until we see it in person. So this is the first time I've ever seen it, and uh, it's here at CES. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah. So this robot is approximately twenty-five kilogram, and uh, mostly we build the integrated with uh, large language model, and okay. so you can talk with the robots oh, and nice. ask him. He can really understand what you want, and then he can do a lot of like uh, very. Fun things like a uh, dance, or okay. maybe learn from you. What wow. you can teach him uh, what what he wants. Nice. <laughs> and, and I noticed that it's like a hobbyist robot, so yeah. it's designed to be customized yeah. and make it to your own liking. Yeah. Can yeah, we see right. some moves? Yeah, yeah, for, right, sure, cool, for sure, for sure. Right. So it's smaller than G1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already got the fighting pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of learning from. Yeah. 
<laughs> I gotta get down those guys. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> I wanna see how hard it hits. Okay. <laughs> so it moves very much like G1, which is yeah, something I noticed. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's already got that out of the get-go. Yeah. And then it's got the talk too, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah, so if you happen to have a pair, you can have your own little fighting robot ring in the in the house. Yeah, yeah. So now it can do other things too. Can it do like a dance or something? Uh, this one we're still under development, okay. so we're going to add a lot of like a like dancing on this robot Got as well, it. like the G1. So this will have its own app and its own customization. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it has a learning function too, is that correct? Is yeah, yeah, okay. right. Oh, there, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great way to go to sleep, and it can get up too, right? Yeah, there, for sure. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Now, who is your target consumer for a product like this? I think uh, that mostly it's a uh, robotics hobbyist or yes. like a developer. Like so me! Kind of, <laughs> yeah. So you can customize it, make it look like anything you want, Iron yeah. Man, any colors you like, whatever you prefer. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. And then is it something that we would see being modular in the future, possibly? Yeah, for sure. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Now, this is uh, definitely really cool to see. So yes, this is in fact a working prototype. And yeah. then, uh, when do we see it expected to be released in the uh, future? It's already released and we're going to massive production. It will be on the approximately on March. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, there's different versions. I see on the back side here, there's some ports as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, there you go. We got, we got a wave. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can stand on it. You want me to stand on it? Uh, just wait a moment. Just wait a moment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can stand on it. Is it on it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh wow, I can support my weight. Okay. <laughs> can it actually walk with me or no? Uh, at the moment, not. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, it can walk. support my yeah. weight. Yeah. yeah, but it's only you can lift it. Oh, okay. You can I try got to you. lift it. It's so very, it can uh, it can lift light. a good amount of weight. Yeah, it's only about like uh, 30 kilograms. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if you had a basket on it, you can put yourself on it yeah. and then just like <laughs> yeah. take it yeah. off. Yeah. Right. That's cool. And uh, you can say some like a uh, backflip. Very oh dangerous. yeah. This can do a backflip too. Oh, nice. That is amazing. Yeah. It's so smooth. Oh wow. It's got You know my kids call this the chicken? Because it looks like a chicken walking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I like this one. Yeah, it's so cool. So this is like the in-between go-to and you know, like it's a middle size. Uh between go-to and the B2. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. 82 legs, he can stand up. That's insane. <laughs> oh, it's got dual batteries. I see that too. Yeah, yeah okay. two battery. And the battery can be swapped out. Yeah, well, while you're using it. Hot spot, yeah. yeah. Hot spot. All right, Tony, who do we have here? Yeah, <laughs> this is the H2 Humanoid Robots, which we released uh, in 2025. Now, uh, can you tell us more about it? We saw some videos on it. That yeah, was very yeah. impressive moves. Yeah. So we made a very agile uh, locomotion on this robot and build a human face, actually. Yeah. So the reason we build a human face is because I think uh, most of people expect the robots like a human. Yeah. And uh, get, they get very familiar. Oh, okay. And we think the robots can be like a, uh, perform a lot of tasks as humans as well. So to give it a personality, be more uh, yes. human like okay. Right. I mean, we saw some interesting videos of it like walking, like modeling, and yeah, like dancing, uh, dancing. Yeah, yeah. Right. and so, that, that was all real, right? Yeah, That's yeah, all AI, real. Yeah, said. definitely. That is incredible. <laughs> and uh, we're still training the robots can do actually get more useful task, like uh, uh, especially in the home home yep. use uh, scenario, like uh, at factory, logistic, warehouse. Yeah. So uh, maybe next year we'll see this one doing some different moves, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, thank you once again, Tony. Yeah, uh, thank it's you. always a pleasure. Thank you. And it's always nice seeing you. And it's always thank awesome you. to see what Unitree has thank up you very next. Much. And with that said, we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye, -bye.